will be presented by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and was inspired by N oh, Nelson Mandela. Let's take a look at this trailer. This was inspired by Nelson Mandela, who once said, what counts in life is not the mere fact that we have lived. It is what difference we have made to the lives of others that will determine the significance of the life we lead. It's about people who have made brave choices. To fight for change and to become leaders. And giving inspiration to the rest of us. To live, to lead. Well, uh, I've been reliably informed that it is in fact live to lead and that I'm weird for thinking it might have been live to lead. But anyway, who knows? Um, that was like bingo for sopping wet lefties, wasn't it? We've got Jacinda Ardern in there. We've got some Democrat on the Supreme Court. We've got Greta Thunberg. I mean, the Nelson Mandela link, one would argue, is pretty tenuous. Although, of course, Meghan Markle did say that someone out of The Lion King once said that when she married Prince Harry and came into the royal family, they felt exactly the same way. And there were parties in the streets, like when Nelson Mandela was released from prison anyway. More on this now from GB News's Royal Reporter, Cameron Walker. Cameron, what fresh hell is this? Yes, Patrick, seven episodes we've got for you on uh, New Year's Eve will be dropping on Netflix. Oh, no, I'm out. I, I mean, to be honest, when I first heard that Harry and Meghan had done a deal with Netflix, this was the kind of series I was expecting them actually to make rather than what we saw last week with the six episodes talking about their experience of, as members of the royal family. So it's seven 25-minute episodes, as you said, inspired by Nelson Mandela. We've got uh, Greta Thunberg they've been speaking to, Jacinda Ardern, the New Zealand Prime Minister, I'm surprised by Jacinda Ardern, actually, because, of course, she's the Prime Minister of a yeah. sovereign nation, which King Charles is head of state of. So yeah. the fact that they are, she has done this with Harry and Meghan is a little bit controversial. I mean, good luck washing Jacinda Ardern's hands clean for the way she handled the pandemic. But anyway, carry on. Yes. Um, so, I mean, the optimist in me says that Harry and Meghan want to inspire the next generation of young leaders. The cynic in me would... To me, it suggests that they are dipping their toe into politics, particularly mm. US politics. So, I mean, it was October 2021 when Meghan lobbied the US Democrats for paid parental leave, if you remember, Patrick. Prince Harry uh, made a reference in a speech he did at the UN to the recent uh, abortion law in the United mm. States as well. Again, he was criticised for that, for dipping his toe into politics. And, of course, the royal family is meant to remain impartial, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. Yes, and, and uh, of course, it's, it's the gift that keeps on giving for Netflix because this is coming off the back of all the media coverage of their first Netflix documentary series where they talked about their experience as members of the royal family. We're still in that fallout, of course. Now we're talking about this new Netflix documentary coming out on New Year's Eve. I'm glad that it is New Year's Eve, and I'm sure a lot of people will be as well because it's not going to overshadow yet another event that's in the royal family's mm -hmm. calendar, which is, of course, the King's Speech happening on Christmas Day. Yes, well, of course, and I would imagine now that this is just going to be a constant, like a little gnat floating around. Well, we had one in the studio a bit earlier on, but I think someone managed to zap it while we were in an advert break. But, you know, this is now like this for the royal family now, you know, that Harry and Meghan are just going to occasionally pop up on Netflix and just going to have to weather it. But, yeah, so we'll have to wait and see the exact content of it. But basically, they want to try to speak to people who they think are changing the world for the better yeah, or they... have changed the world for the better. I mean, in the case of Nelson Mandela, it's pretty unequivocal, isn't it? But some would argue about Jacinda Ardern, for example. But, yeah, so people people that they think are fluffy and lovely and have broken the mould in some way and ally themselves with them. Yes, yeah, well, essentially they're speaking to people who they see as inspirations right. um, on the world stage and speaking to them about their uh, upbringing, how they got to where they are and what inspires them going forward. Courage, uh, it's about mes showing messages of courage, compassion, humility, hope and generosity. That's what it Gosh. says in the blurb. Well, that's it. 